All right, now back to 14. Now we have Sharon Miller. This is for a birdie. Playing in a twosome with uh, Shelly Hamlin. She is 10 over. And uh, with that short putt, she'll remain 10 over. How about some of the attire these uh, women golfers are wearing these days, Pro? Well, it looks a little different than what they used to wear, don't it? Sure does. A lot of beautiful color. A lot of good swingers out there, too. Golf swingers, that is. At the 17th, Jenny Blaylock uh, made a bogey five. So there's a par for Sharon Miller. As Sue Burning continues to lead, trying to make it two in a row in the United States Women's Open. And now Shelly Hamlin. She, she needs this to stay three shots behind. And as you see how this stands, Sue Burning is leading Shelly by three. She's really studying this one because she certainly doesn't need to lose another stroke right at this point. She was born in San Mateo, California, but uh, now lives in Fresno. Majored in political science at Stanford. So she's not a dingling, Byron. She's no. Got a few brains, too. Lovely gal. Stands a little open stance, a little weight on her left foot, and she yeah. just <laughs> did sneak that one in there, but it is one. So she remains tied for second. Three shots off the lead is held by Sue Burning here in Rochester, New York, on a beautiful summer day. Ann Sander off the tee at the par 3 16th. And she has had a fine shot, but as you see, it will not hold going over the back, and it'll be a very difficult return shot for this fine amateur, a three time U.S. amateur champion. All right, let's go over to the 14th tee. And uh, it'll be Pam Higgins, who started out in a tie for the lead with the uh, young lady on the left, uh, the current leader, Susie Maxwell Burning. But at this moment, she is six over on a round today on this 6,120 yard par 72 country club of Rochester course. Pam Higgins, she has a little deciding to do now. Now she gets the club that she wants on this 166 yard hole. And Byron, what do you think it might be? I'm guessing the wind's blowing just slightly with her now. I'm saying she's going to go with a six iron, possibly a five, but either one of the, either one of the two. Pretty strong hitter for a little girl. Good smooth swing. Perfect. The ball went smoothly too, didn't it? Didn't it though? Very, very good shot. So maybe she can get one of those shots back here at the uh, par three 14th hole as Sue Burning, the leader, now uh, steps up. Sue, who has rounds of 72, slipped to a 77. On Friday, came back with a three under 69 yesterday. And she's one over for the day so far. Uh, on this, really, Chris, this is a real fine golf course for this championship. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful and it's good, too. There's a lot of golf shots here. Another great course here, Oak Hill, where Lee Trevino won the United States Men's Open. And I don't think we've ever seen prettier trees anywhere. I will watch Sue make probably, very probably her usual good swing. Very steady player Sue has been for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Heard somebody say golf shot. Thank you. Sure enough, it is. Nice to safely on the green golfers left of the flag. Sue Burning, who shared the lead at the start of play today with Pam Higgins, now has it all to herself by three shots. She is three over while Shirley Hamlin and Gloria Arrett are six over par. We'll be back with more action in a moment. As we look at the current leader lining up a putt for a birdie two at the par three 14th hole, uh, that lovely lady has made uh, the long trip to her position on the 17th tower after playing 72 holes and finishing 14 over Marilyn Smith and Marilyn congratulations on uh, just playing so well in the opens over the years oh thank you Chris it's great to be up here with you uh, on the mic too and uh, Susie Burning has I'd say around a 30 footer here 
It's a little speed putt, and um, as you can see, she's putting sideways now. She's changed her putting uh, since two rounds ago. Oh, good effort, good leg putt. Well, it might be good for a lot of us to change our <laughs> putting stance, right? I think you're right. The she result. Likes, right. Mm. She likes fast green, she told me yesterday, and uh, she went to a lighter putter, which has helped her get a better feel on the greens. So, um, Sue Burning remains three over. Three shots ahead of Shelley Hamlin and Gloria Errett. Now, Pam Higgins. Remember her tee shot? What a beautiful one. Well, she's lining it up for a two at the 14th hole. Chris, this might move a slight bit to her left if she's not careful. Not much break, but if you don't hit just good and firm, it might move just to her left. Here's a gal who went to Ohio State for one year. Pro? Well, the Ohio State produced a lot of great athletes. Groveport, Ohio, a native of. Dressed in a pretty blue. Mm -hmm. Pretty shot, and it's, oh. you know, if you push that a little bit too far, it won't break that much. That's too bad to really hurt you to hit a good shot in there like that and miss the putt because you feel like you've wasted a good shot whenever you do. This is the thing that really upsets you. If you play the shot badly, well, you don't miss, you don't mind missing the button yours badly, but when you hit a good one and then you don't get it, well, then you just feel like you've wasted a good one, Chris. This for a par three at the 14th hole. Pam Higgins. So she remains seven over or four shots away from the lead held by her playing partner today, Sue Burning. Now, here at 18, we have uh, Jane Blaylock lining up a putt for a birdie three. Walking with her today with the blue top and uh, the shorts, that is Billy Jean King, the tennis professional at Hilton Head, while Jenny Blaylock is the golf professional at Hilton Head. Now, this is for a three. 11 over par. She had the longest drive I've seen on this hole today. Chris, she's worked clear past that bunker, which is about 250 yards from the tee. She just had a little pit shot to play to this spot. And so here in the 72nd hole, Jane Blaylock with that tap in will finish at 11 over. Sandra Spusich is in at 12 over. Margie Masters at 13 over. Beth Barry also at 13 over. Janie Blaylock as Sue Burning leads at the moment, three over par. We'll return to Rochester in a moment. Yes, this is young Gloria Errett preparing to play a shot out of the trap here on number 17. Gloria has done some fantastic shooting. She birdied 13, 14, and 15, and made a fantastic three at 16 by hitting her ball over the green into the rough rolling her ball up and sunk a fairly good putt for a par. So she's definitely charging. If she can get down in two from here, and this is a rather difficult spot, to get a long blast or maybe a little chip and run shot and see what she will elect to do. She has great tempo and rhythm here. You notice everything is very smooth with Gloria Swain. Very methodical player. She must get down in two now for a tough par four. she had about a 30 yard shot here but little chip and run shot very nice touch beautiful rolls it by about oh like say five feet past the pin and now we'll go to 15 green this is shelly hamlin she three shots off the lead and she's putting for a birdie at the 15th green shelly hamlin started only two shots off. She's dropped back one behind Sue Burning. And just going by, she'll have that short putt to remain three shots off the lead of Sue Burning. Shelly had a little trouble with her putting yesterday, and I think she spent just about an hour and 15 minutes on the putting green after play, because she said she felt that the tournament was going to be won on the greens, which happens many times. All right, this putt for Shelly Hamlin, who had a great amateur record before turning professional last year. That's in at 15. 
They're Bills is winning by three as we go over to 17. And here's Judy Rankin preparing to stroke her putt for a birdie, about an 18-footer. Very aggressive putter, one of our most consistent players. Gets it a little bit short. I know she wanted to give that a little more, more of an effort because she must make this, must make these putts. Left herself around about a 10 inch or here. Judy, you know, is making a run for Kathy Whitworth's uh, leading money winner of the year award. She uh, is only about $500 behind Kathy Whitworth in the money list. She gets her par four. And now Gloria Arad, who earlier this year won the Birmingham Classic. Represents the River Lakes Country Club in Dallas. She was voted the Most Improved Player Award in 1966 after winning the LPGA Championship, which most of us feel, feel is the second best turn on, on our tour to win. She will try to make as, as good a stroke as she can and sink this putt to keep her four. This putt may possibly break just a slight bit to her left. Oh, and it slid by on the left side. Didn't allow for the break there. And she'll tap this in for a bogey five to go four strokes behind the leader. Uh, she's now four strokes behind the leader, Susie Burning. We'll be back in just a minute, folks. <laughs> 